Thanks. And having gone through the gate, it's over to the left where the tall trees are. And then it's through the gate. So it's over there. In that that a direction. So it's up past this little bridge and through the gate into the field. The path should be clearly marked by the side of the river through the next field anyway. The path just follows the river here. Now at this point we have to leave the bank of the river and go round to the right, I think, and head for the wood. There's the river there. We're just moving round this way. And the path should be well marked. There's usually a crop growing in this field. So you just follow along the right-hand side of this field where the, the path is well trodden. Some more people ahead of us. All you're going to do is move along here to the end and round the corner. And here we carry on into the wood. It will look different obviously when there are leaves on the trees, but the path is very well marked. Another gate here, into another open field. You must be careful to shut the gates as we go through, just in case there's livestock in the field. And we'll go across the field following these people in the distance.
How's that for a tree house? And then, believe it or not, we're going to go right through somebody's backyard. Here we go. Shut the gate. Alright, so this is the end of uh, the river walk. You can either turn around and go back to Bybury Court or alternatively carry on walking along the road, which is what I'm going to do. Just up the road there's a pub called the New Inn. This is where I tend to be waiting if you're walking through and meeting me at this end. Just along the road there.